Now financially secure, Tchaikovsky bought a comfortable home near the small rural town of Klin. Here he could hide from the social world of the city with its gossip mongers and never ending parties. His relationship with Joseph Kotek had long since cooled, and he was happy to spend his days with his nephew, Vladimir Davidov. Tchaikovsky idolized the boy, and together they enjoyed the perfect solitude of the country. After so many years of struggle, and times of great doubt, Tchaikovsky finally allowed himself to relax. Alongside the large-scale works, he'd always written piano and chamber music. Klin allowed him to explore these private, intimate worlds in music with renewed vigor. <laughs> 